So the first thing you're going to do is go to the gear icon and select import data. And then from there, you'll select the customer's tile. After that, it will ask you if it's your first time importing customers. And at that point, we will browse to find the Excel file to upload Google Sheet or CSV file. These are the fields that you have the opportunity to bring in to QuickBooks. Unfortunately, there's no way to bring in notes. So if you have customer notes, those are going to have to be manually copied and pasted in one by one. Um, unless you can think of a way to sneak them in there with some other one of these fields here. Probably might be tough to do because you probably have a, there's a character limit on these fields here. Okay. Uh, an example that QuickBooks gives you is a template. When you download, you have the ability to download this template, sample file, copy and paste your data over top of that, and then import that. All right, so first click on the gear, then click import data. From here, click customers, then browse. uploaded my customer list. I'll hit next. And now we get a chance to map the fields here. So I just want to verify that these match properly. You have the ability to, if they didn't match, you would have the ability to select on the side here. This is your spreadsheet options here. So no match obviously means nothing's coming through. The ones that it identified to come through will, we'll bring in here. So name, company, the big difference name would be like a first and a last name. Company is going to be the, the business name. Sometimes if you're dealing with individuals, they, they are the same thing. So on the next step, you can actually see how it works here. And it is a requirement to have the name field. So if I tried to import this here, I'm going to get an error. And um, so I was not able to import that. So either I create something like John Doe, or if I left it on Eagle's Wings and brought it over, because I imported everything except the error. So I've already imported 12. I'm going to now import this last one here. Because I want to share with you how how it gets a little bit funky on the names when it's a customer name. Let me go over to the sales customers. Okay, and I'm going to open up On Eagle's Wings. Thing looks good here, but check out first, middle, last. <laughs> kind of funny there, but uh, that's company name came in properly but here's here's the name field that's required here so at this particular point in time you would either delete these and, or put in a sales rep or a contact rep there to really dive deep into it do a uh, customer contact list report and you'll see that the customer names are fine uh, but you'll see for the full name, you know, for example, here's what, so what you'd want to do is you probably would want to just move full name and customer side by side. So customer, a lot of these are, so here's one, for example, Callahan and Sons, Inc. And I'll do one more thing. I can bring in the first and last name, last name, first name. There we go. Suns Inc. Callahan. So you, you can see the ones that we had for that example. So you might do a little cleanup here. For example, I click on Oak Meadow Solutions. Any of these here opens up, edit, and just take this out here. If, if you're particular. It, I mean, if you don't care, you don't care, right? Um, Callahan Suns. The, the, why it why it might matter is if if you go in and create your first invoice 
let's say I create invoice to Callahan and Sons services 5,000 when I hit save and send and try to email it that's good there however you might have a scenario where you customize the actual form and on the emails it's possible to do um, the f last name or first name so if, if you came into here it kind of would get a little bit messed up if you did something like that but the default again is the full name so just keep it like that or company name okay so Again, save and send. Oops. See, now I've got Dear Callahan. Not the end of the world. You could always manually adjust it, but just try to bring up a little detail here. Hope this video was helpful, and I'll see you on the next one.